We begin with football, with elections for the Zimbabwe Football Association's presidency on the way. After a FIFA ruling, incumbent football chief Philip Chiyangwa could face an uphill task after a controversial two-year reign. Farayim Wakatui looks at the football crisis at Zifa House. He was meant to be the savior of local football, but a string of promises made by Philip Chiangwa when he won the Zifa presidency back in 2015 haven't materialized. Instead, his critics say there's been a catalog of failures. Women football is in the limbo. We don't even have a league. We used to boast one of the best football leagues on the continent, but today, we don't even have a football league. Our junior football, there's nothing to talk about. We don't have anything. Structures. But Yangwe has scored some successes. Any football leader will be judged uh, on the results of the national team. So the fact that Zimbabwe qualified for the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations finals, uh, only for a third time in Zimbabwe's history, that was under Philip Chiangwa's watch. So that certainly is to his credit. He brought FIFA president Gianni Infantino to Harare in February 2017 for a birthday party that was a precursor to tectonic shifts on the continent, most notably the ouster of long-serving Issa Hayatu. Chiangwa himself was a beneficiary, landing the Kosafa presidency and the CAF competition's role. Yes, we give him credit for that. But that is self-actualization. It is him realizing his egocentricism. You can do all those things while your football is dying at home. It means nothing. Things are so bad here, the game doesn't have a home anymore. Zifa House has been attached by one of the association's numerous creditors. Now, when Philip Chiangwa took the reins, Zifa's debt stood at a staggering six million US dollars. He says that it's been significantly reduced, but there's been no independent audit to verify that claim. Winning the FIFA audit election could be difficult. Part of the problem there is many would say that he doesn't really have a solid grounding in football. That's why many people have opposed him and said that he's not the right man to lead. So at the moment, it's, it's pretty mixed, you'd have to say. Uh, Chiangwa is a winner, and we've seen that. Uh, he's had a lot of good fortune in his time. The flamboyant businessman is also running for MP on the ruling ZANU-PF's ticket, a development that's likely to lead to more controversy if he insists on retaining his football roles. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.